Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than ever, to the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird among the heathens that look like the heathens. And to the Akwaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. Coming at you with another lesson in truth. Uh, this will be the second one for the day. They deleted my video from the early this morning. Um, it was called, it was, uh, it was a response to a uh, video by the same um, Platformers, this uh, this guy Clayton Morris from Redacted. Uh, it was a response to his video, "Why the Whole World Hates America," and um, his video is still up, and mine isn't. Because what's the the biggest, you know? And oh yeah, and I was gonna say over in, in Israel, they're jailing and threatening to put in prison anyone who's teaching, you know, about Yahweh Shai or Christianity. But you know that's really aimed at the Hebrew Israelites. And um, it's just going to show you that the truth is a burden. This word is a burden unto Esau, Edom. And it's really damaging them. Um, this brings to mind that scripture. Um, I think it's Acts uh, 18 and 1, if I'm not mistaken. Acts 18 and 1 or 18 and 2. Because there was. Yeah, Acts 18 and um and 2. I'll start at verse 1. This is and after these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Judean, I'm not gonna say the J word, named Aquila, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy, and his wife Priscilla. Because that Claudius had commanded all the Judeans depart from Rome and and came unto them. And the reason that those Judeans were, were uh, uh, forced to depart from Rome, there's a depiction of it um, in the catacombs of a camp standing on the street corner speaking to their people at this time. And they all were dark skinned with afros. So this word is becoming a burden unto them, big time. All right. So as they're getting ready to go into this world war, this third world's war, they're going to also declare a war on the people of the Lord. All right. So let's let me play a little bit of this video. What I'm about to show you is arguably the biggest story in the world right now, in my opinion, but it's being totally ignored by the mainstream media. Of course it is. They don't want you to know about it because it will upend the global world order. I'm going to show you all of the new data and the info in a minute. But first, the U.S. just announced they're getting ready for war with China and Russia simultaneously because we can't just do one without the other, right? See, this is what happens when People start to lose power. They get very dangerous. And the U.S. is quickly losing power. This week, Defense Secretary Lloyd... And there it lies. They're losing power. Popularity, no one trusts them. All right? I'm going to read uh, a couple lines from, from the lyrics of uh, Mystery of Iniquity, um, which was a, a song that was done by um, Lauren Hill. And I'm going to read, uh, you know, some lines from it and then, you know, and just put in some scriptures. And it says, the opening line is, Inventions whereby they lynch men, enter the false witness slandering the accused, planting the seed openly showing he's being used to discredit, edit, head it for the alleged, smearing the individual, fearing the unsuspected. Expert witness, the, the, the paid authority, made a priority to deceive the majority or disinterest peers, dodging duties for years, hating the process, waiting to be returning to their careers. Do we expect a system made for the elect to possibly judge the correct? 
properly serve and protect, and you're not going to get protected by these people. These people are against the Lord's people, and they are against the ways of the Lord, point blank, period. And they know that they have a short time, so they're going to come down with great wrath. All right, I'm going to read that scripture. Um, this video won't be long. I'm just going to go straight to the point because I'm, I'm still heated, you know, uh, over what they did to that video. Whoever saw it, saw it. You know, it was a very edifying video. Went deep into the prophecies, and that's what got these people shook up. All right. Um, but it says only two positions. All right. The victimizer or the victim. Both end up in destruction trusting this crooked system. Mafia with diplomas keeping us in comas trying to own a piece of the American Corona. <laughs> of the American Corona, meaning crown. All right. The, the American dream is an American nightmare. All right. And these so-called justice system do operate like mafia. You know. Um, it says a revolving door. Insanity every floor, skyscraping, paper chasing. What are they working for? What are we working for? Empty traders reaching social positions, teaching ambition to support a family superstition. When the son of perdition is the commander in chief, a standard is a thief. Brethren, can we candidly speak woe to them, trusted in the ch chested in the chariots, them leaning on horses? They run. Their intellectual sources, counterfeit wisdom, creating the illusion of freedom. Conclusion consumes them. Every word they speak, it turns them out. It turns out really white internally. They're absent of light. And that's why this place is failing, because they are completely absent of light. All right. This is uh, Isaiah. And this is one of the scriptures I used. In the uh, lesson earlier that they deleted, I'm, I'm so I'm so heated over that war. But this is Isaiah 8 and 20, and it reads, "To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, and they hate the light and they love darkness." All right, the Bible gives you a manual, a perfect instruction on how to run a society, all right, for success. But they do the opposite. Of, of you know what the Lord says I mean if you look at almost every pale male on here Has a bald face And majority of them have a phallic symbol uh, uh, You know hanging from their necks If you if you know Alright because they, they are against uh, uh, The Lord Alright and everything that they do Let me grab one more scripture And, uh, and uh, I'm going to get ready to wrap this up Because this dog is acting up He's he, Freaks out every time he hears the rain coming. See, here's the thunder in the distance. But this is a uh, Revelation 12 and 10, and it reads, "I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our power, and the power of His Hamashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And that's what they do. My video got clipped for hate speech, all right? And there was nothing hateful said in there at all." Only truce. All right. And the video that I did the response to is still up. And it was and it was called why the why the uh, world hates America, says the Turkish. Uh, I forget his name. And it was a response to that. But anyway, you know, I just wanted this to be quick. So I'm gonna give all praises going on unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wa Abba, Abba, Kwam, Yasserah, Shalom.